Actually, I would say that LinkedIn is my favorite social media platform because I love targeting my audience by job title and also knowing who is spying on me. Now I've declared my highly unscientific personal bias, I can show you how to create and optimize a high converting LinkedIn company page. Log into your personal profile and let's go. To create a page, the first thing you do is go to the home screen and your profile, click work in the right hand corner. And if you go down the right sidebar there, you will see a create company page option. When you click that, LinkedIn will basically walk you through the steps of creating a page. You can choose whether you have fewer than 200 employees, more than 200 employees. You can ignore the showcase page for now. That's a little more advanced. And if you're an educational institution, obviously choose that. After that, we're in creation mode and it's pretty simple. First, you want to enter your business name, add a simple and easy to type vanity URL, add your company's website. You can also choose an industry and be accurate about it. Select your company size, select your company type. Also very important to upload your logo, which LinkedIn recommends 300 by 300 pixels and to add a tagline where you can explain in simple language exactly what you do. And then you want to verify that you are the authorized representative of the company and you can click create page. Step two is making sure our company page is really easy to find. So we're going to flesh out some more details, which also means that on average, our page will get about 30% more views. So first we'll look at the company description. This doesn't need to be long. You have 2000 characters, but basically when you write it, uh, think about what's your vision what are your values maybe what is your origin story or who are your customers but as you write it make sure that you use the kind of keywords that people might use when they're searching for a company like yours so um, whether that's what you are or services you provide or products um, you want to make it readable for the linkedin search algorithm as well as for your customers um, so we'll save that. Uh, the other thing we want to do is add a physical location so people searching by physical location um, can find us. And the third thing that's really important for uh, search optimization is adding a hashtag. So if you have a branded hashtag, enter that. If you, if there's a wider um, industry hashtag that's important, you might use that, um, or a more niche one that defines you, um, go ahead and put those in. You only have three, so you can, and you can change them as many times as you want. Step three, we're going to optimize our page for conversion, by which I mean encourage people to take the next step with our business, whether that is visiting the website or signing up for a newsletter or booking a demo request. Um, there are two ways that we can guide people along this path. Number one is updating our cover image. Um, this is prime real estate when people are visiting our page. so using the recommended size you can basically use this space to mention any big campaigns describe your value prop just make it more visually compelling and welcome people uh, you can also update it as long as many times as you want uh, the second way that we can encourage people to convert is to add a call to action button in the top right hand corner. So what I did there was 
if you click edit page and in the left hand side go down to buttons you can pick a custom CTA whether that's sign up visit website and then use the URL perhaps with UTM parameters perhaps not uh, that you want to send them to um, and that way your page is set up to have people move along your beautiful customer funnel. Step four, we are going to share our first post. Uh, we'll start with a welcome post that kind of tells people what to expect, um, why they might want to follow our page, uh, where they can get more information about our company. Um, as with most social media platforms, the more you post to LinkedIn, the more followers you will attract, the more reach you'll get, the better engagement, um, and you can post polls, you can share that you're hiring, you can add video and uh, visuals, which are very helpful for engagement. So posting content is where things also start to get strategic. If you don't have a social media strategy already, I highly recommend watching our nine minute masterclass where Amanda will walk you through building one. If you do have a social media strategy, you'll still want to tailor your messaging and your content for this platform. We asked our resident LinkedIn expert, Ian, or as he is also known, Sir Dr. LinkedIn, for his approach to connecting with the LinkedIn audience. People want to connect with more authentic brands. So just because it's LinkedIn, it doesn't mean it has to be corporate and dull. Show off your personality, show off your culture, be human. Emojis are fine on LinkedIn. Show something which will really connect with your audience on a more personal level. And most importantly, you cannot bore people into buying your product or your service. You can only interest them into buying it. So be that thing that they're interested in. Don't interrupt what they're interested in. Be the thing they're passionate about. Tell your messaging so it's much more reflective on their values and the kind of thing that they're interested in. There you have it, straight from a man who earned 60,000 new followers on LinkedIn last year. I would like to add that it also helps in terms of page growth if you post consistently. And that is easiest if you have a social media management tool that combines all of your social media platforms in one so that your strategy is completely unified. Like Hootsuite, we are going to include a 60-day free trial for you in the link that will pop up any second in one of the corners. I'm not going to point to it. First of all, let's do our due diligence. We want to add a follower button to the company website. You want to cross promote it on social media, all your other platforms, wherever you have an audience. So if that's a newsletter or a blog or adding it, adding your LinkedIn company page to your email signature, uh, get all of those bases covered. Next, we want to invite our personal connections to and follow the company page. There are two ways that you can do this. One is to click share page and then create a post that announces your page for the LinkedIn universe. And the second way is if you go up to admin tools, you can personally invite your connections. Um, and so as you scroll through, you can find people who you think would be interested in your page and what it provides. And you can just click invite and there you have it. And finally, invite your company's employees to follow your LinkedIn page. On LinkedIn, employees are 14 times more likely to share their employer's content than anyone else's. This is a huge opportunity to skyrocket your reach, not just on LinkedIn, but other social media platforms. It's called employee advocacy, and all it means is keeping in mind as you craft your content, is this a post that my employees might like to share as well with their networks? Um, and on LinkedIn, a pro tip is every time you post to click the ellipses in the top right corner, go down to notify employees of posts so that they'll always know when you're posting. That is all for today. If you liked this video, please like this video and leave a comment below if you have more LinkedIn marketing questions or you would like to see more LinkedIn marketing content from us. Goodbye.